But I want to talk about why there is this complexity. Why do we have so much complexity? Why do we have so many technologies involved? Because think about it, right? So we have one monolith. We have one big chunk of code which forms your application. And you're breaking it out. You are solving a bunch of problems there. You're solving scalability. You're solving uh, modularity of deployments. You can make changes to one small portion of the application without having to redeploy the whole thing. So you have advantages there. But then you're having a whole lot of other things you have to tackle. Because you have this modularity, you have to make sure your release process is fine. Because you have scalability, you have to make sure your microservices can scale. You can have multiple copies and still have your application work. So you've kind of traded off. You've traded off some problems for some other problems. So you might wonder, well, what's the big deal with Microsoft? Instead of solving problem set A, you're solving problem set B. The advantage is, if you're in problem set A, which is the monolithic architecture, the problems you're trying to solve are very specific to your application. So let's say you're building an e-commerce application. Your, your problem set would be, well, how do I make sure my shopping cart service is called from this uh, you know, catalog service or something like that? It's very specific to what you're trying to solve. So you're going to have to solve those problems for your monolith. But when you break it down to microservices, these problems become more generic. Load balancing is a generic problem. No matter what the nature of the application is, as long as you've broken it down to microservices, the individual microservice itself is doing what your application is supposed to do. But between microservices, that's a common problem. No matter whether you're building a shopping cart application or Facebook or whatever, what happens between the microservices, the problems that you have to solve there is common. And guess what? If it's a common problem, there are frameworks out there. There are technologies out there which will solve those problems. So all those internal problems we used to have when you were dealing with a monolith and you had to solve for each and every application separately, you now solve for microservice domain in general and then have that applied to all kinds of microservices, no matter what, what application is actually being uh, executed. Does that make sense? So because all those problems are now in the public domain, you have everybody providing solutions for that in public. And those solutions are all these technologies. You have uh, the load balancing technologies, like all these frameworks, oh, they're solving common problems. And you can use them for something like Eureka. You can use them no matter what kind of application you're building. So that's the switch, and that's the advantage. So you have to learn a lot more technologies, but then you have proven patterns, proven technologies, no matter what application you're building. Does that make sense? Any questions so far? All right. Moving on. So this is what we're trying to do, right? Monolith broken down to microservices. Notice how fancy my artwork is. So you have complexity hidden within in the monolith, and then you have complexity between microservices in the case of microservices.